Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Very exciting, we're starting a new campaign, World War II campaign. This is to play, replace the Iran campaign, which is not working in the new version of DCS. World War II campaign so it has been brought forward, therefore, and I'm really looking forward to it. That's all I can say, they're always good fun, World War II, World War II campaigns. Now, it's going to work a little different than what we normally do. Normally with our campaigns, we do Mission 1, Mission 2, Mission 3, Mission 4, until we win or lose the campaign. This is going to be... It's kind of, for a start, it's the first campaign we're doing that uses DTS, Armour 3, and IL-2. So it's going to use all three games in one campaign, which is a bit weird. Instead of going day one, two, three, and four, day one, which is going to be 1940 Dunkirk, is going to be played from DTS. Then Dunkirk is going to be played from Armour. Then Dunkirk is going to be played from... Um, uh, IL-2. And then the next day is going to be 1940, later in 1940, uh, Channel Island or whatever conflict, and it's going to be all three sides of it again. So it's going to be a little bit different, but hopefully it should be good fun. Let's talk about today's mission, which is kicking off. So 1940 Dunkirk, the Allies have been pushed back through France and uh, through the Allied countries, and they're now at Dunkirk with 200, 300,000 men. The Reds are pushing them back and we've got a chance on the axis side to really uh, give them a bit of a hammer blow so we're going to attack while the blues are on their way to the beaches and the way this is going to work is it's going to be pvp this campaign so we've got half of us humans on red half of us humans on blue but enough people to do that again now so at the same time reds and blue will take off reds have got uh, the axis have got 50 miles to travel towards the coast to get to a target that target is surrounded by smoke as you can see and will be on bullseye and it's going to be allied light armor and infantry which we've got to strafe and do as much damage as it can to defending that coming from good old britain and is going to be the allies now obviously there is no britain in this map and we can't use the actual channel island map for various reasons so what's happening is the spitfires and whatnot are taking off from galenzig they're flying out to and going around a, uh, a an oil rig that we've got 25 miles out to sea and then they're going to swing back around and come towards the target at Dunkirk to defend it if everything works out they should get to Dunkirk at a pretty much the same time and that's what simulate them going across 50 miles of channel okay guys um, and that's it really there's going to be a rumble we're going to try and get some strafing done on the axis side once well we're probably all going to die but if you don't die RTB uh, and that's it really Respawn conditions are a bit different to normal missions because a lot of us guys here don't get a chance to practice warbirds like kind of me and RC do. So if you disconnect, you may respawn. If you do a formation collision, which is very, very possible, just respawn both of you. If your engine cuts out outside of combat only, so outside of the fight on a, on a ferry or a takeoff, respawn it happens. I know it's annoying and I don't want to piss people off. So if it goes inside of combat, you want to climb, whatever, you may not respawn. If you crash on takeoff, same reasons, you know, we just don't get a chance to practice them. Just get in a new jet and uh, and take off and come and catch up with your buddies. Simple straight up fight. We will actually have GCIs because they did have types of EWR back then, um, although they will be very limited. Let's look at the teams. Allies, Hammer. We've got Saiyan leading the P51D-25s. We've got... We've got... Thank you, Saiyan. In Buick, we've got Chopsticks leading the P-51D 30s. Uh, we've actually got extra spare P-51s if anyone else needs to fly P-51. Sabre is going to be in the spits. You've got clip wing and non-clip wing, and that's going to be led by Bear. Uh, <laughs> okay, we've got in the Germans, the Axis, we've got Schrudel, which is going to be Kingston leading the uh, BF-109s, the Curve First. Schnitzel. Which is going to be Double, our, my yes, <laughs> uh, which is going to be RC in his Tom Cruise leading the Focke Wolf uh, 190 uh, long noses, and we've got Schnapps, uh, which is going to be Soames, and he's turning up late, and he's going to be in a Focke Wolf 190 short nose, guys. Oh, oh, well. I'm just dead. So I just use the keyboard. I'll just be yeah. I'll just use the router, I guess. Or the keyboard, like you said. It's right control, like the comma, period. Okay, all units of the beautiful red side. It's now time to take off. Can you please get up one by one in the left-hand orbit until we're all up? And we'll see you in the sky. Roger that. I don't have comms to the airborne because my push talk is my break. So see you up there. Nice. Do you want Kingston to land that cap or do you want me to leave? I asked uh, 
uh, it doesn't matter, he's what he obviously wants to be beat, so he's going to be leaving. Okay, got it. Good takeoff. Adequate takeoff. Aha! Success on the plane! Good takeoff. Red team to the I'm red! Up to, I'm with you. We're heavy. Very good takeoff. Left, link. Uh, left, on it. Good takeoff. Ooh, 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 ooh. Save it, save it, save it, save it, save it, save it. Oh, sucks to be you. Oh, oh no, someone died. Oh, bugger. Who's the silly seahorse? I'm not going to mock him until we've landed, because that's where I'm going. Good takeoff. Acceptable takeoff. Good takeoff. By the super cat. Don't let anyone down. That was ugly. 214 knot. That's what it is, 400 kph. I've got a bit of a poo moment there, but I'm up. That sun is brutal. Okay, Leeds, can you please make a slow turn from GCI directions to our target and then at a speed and altitude if you're choosing, we will start the ferry. Roger that. I need to work out where the back I'm supposed to be going and then I'll choose my stack. Lead, bearing to target 213 for 45. 213 for 45, thank you. Right turn.
Okay guys, well I've got your attention. Tactics, we get there. Intelligence says hostiles are gonna be in a field, surrounded by the smoke, out of the bullseye. Softing vehicles and infantry most probably. Get the bombs off and the rockets off straight away, even if you're aiming shit, because we won't get another chance to attack. Then, once you've done your main attack, BF-109 switch to air to air, and dogfight the Spitz and the Mustangs. Fokker Wolves, I suggest we stay air to ground because we're not much of a dogfighter and do sweeping fast attacks from up high to keep us safe from spits. If we can get a little altitude in the Doros, we'll be alright. We can boom and zoom pretty well. Yep, that's the plan. Don't you want me to climb up? Roger. Quite a quick climb. I think our button for bomb release is a separate button from cannon and machine gunners, but FYI. Uh, what it is, yeah, it's P3, I think it is. And you have to activate that switch on the right hand side to work. Right, on the circuit breaker? Yeah. Roger. Cap is a trail 190. I'm also external cameraman, so just keep away from me. At trail 190. Yeah, would you prefer to go above the clouds? I think it's about high. Yeah, I think we can operate up there, guys. Okay. We want to avoid uh, 4,000 meters though, that's our supercharger rate for the door. Uh, if we stay there, we'll screw the engine. Roger that. Anyone know what the clouds are at? I'll let you know when we get there. Guys, I can see the sea, I don't think we're that far away, you know. No, I'm not. Target distance, 23 miles. Hmm. Somebody should be playing some good German battle music. 
nice right now. Lead, slight heading correction left, 201 for 20 miles. Left, 201, 20 miles. distance from us to target. Target distance from lead, 11 miles. And any uh, hostiles in Keep. range? Actually, they're just popping up three ship, 215 for 16 miles. Altitude unknown. 215 is in the air. Okay, there's mill power uh, in there to get a quick strike, guys, while we can. They're, they're not quite there yet. Max power going in for the dive, Doris, do you think? Good luck, boys! Don't worry about uh, possibly getting too fast, though. Roger, K4 cannot pull out of a dive once it overspeeds. Copy. Uh, Definitely will stay up high, I have no fault, so have a look south for those plans. Yeah, that's not the right shortcut, mechanically fell off. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check uh, my keyboard. It's a four staying at the cloud deck. Yeah. It's a breezy up there. It's a B2 bomb release. Late flight of three, bearing 194 for seven miles hot. Roger, thank you. So we're going to work out with them. Roger, jump's Blow through, guys. Blow through. They won't keep up. Just like, uh, we're out of the two of those Bandits are to your 10 o'clock, 188 for 3.8 miles, altitude 13,000. Hot. Can you put it in? 13,000, copy. Oh, my game is crashing. You've got to be kidding me. I hate this version. Come on, Ian. Four Cali Bandits. Guns, guns, guns. Rolling. Pencil 4, engaging enemy bandits. Off-flight, spur-ball. Off-flight, additional nice. pop-ups, balls, 277, 227 for five. Come shot. Catch that up, boys! Come shot, going around again. Special 4, engaging bandit. Enemy mo. 
Mustang. Mustang's in the mix. Rolling in from the south. Stall, hop on your six. Mike, we have merge. We're set to four, engaging Mustang. Saddle. Cap, hostiles all around you. Roger, keep running in. Come on, baby. Stay on target. Stay on target. Stay on target. Get yes, some. Oh, fucking rudder pedal. Fucking hate you. Cap off target. Keep fast, focus, keep fast. Ripcord, targets off your nose, high, two shift. Beam, fly bearing 194 for 40 miles. Oh. 194. Cap, target on your tail. Getting out. Engaging. Come on, baby. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Come on, it's help. Two bandits on a six. Come with me, baby. Come with me. Come with me. You see the climb rate? Come out defensive on the deck. You see that climb rate? Cap safe! Turbo. Turbo hostile at your 5 o'clock high. Cop it. Come on, little Spitfire. Come on, little Spitfire. Yeah, I'm safe, I'm safe. Come on, little Spitfire. Chase me, chase me. Ha ha ha, your little legs. Your little legs, what are you doing? What are you doing?
give it up for God's sake. Got running up there, back in, I've outrun my foe. Bye bye, little Spitfire. Hope you had a good time. Hope you had a good time. Hope you had a good time. MW50 is burning. Kingston target at your 7 o'clock. Stop, Steve. Kingston dogfight. Let's see what you can do to a Fokker with 190. Cap running in. Turbo. Fire. I'm dead. Coming out, get hit on an enemy bandit. Woohoo! Shack! See ya, buddy. I'm gonna head out of here. I don't know where you're going. Later, Bozo. Track, cap. Cap track again. Cover, you're being engaged by five bandits on your tail. La la la. Ba, 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 ba. Roger, standing north. Golf five, that's a bit tricky. Achtung, ein Spitfire! Look at him, for the catch up with me. Being continue, uh, continue heading 214 for 17 miles. Who do you think he is, boys? Who does he think he is? <laughs>
heading 1854, three miles just to the cap. Roger, moving. Target at 3000, descending. Flanking right to left. Come shot. Come at band on the nose. That is friendly. Ho 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 ho! This is Mustang. He won't lock it up him. He won't lock it up him. The speed! The speed! Come on, little Spitfire. Cap, stand it at your 2 o'clock. Evasive. Tell him! Come out. Oh, Magic. Something I learned in the Navy, boys. Magic, come out. Vector for bogey. What are you gonna do when the fucker wolf calls? How many friends does Cap have? Cap has four, two, bogey two. Bogey three, correction. Ah, they're all chasing Super Cap. Come on, you can fire. Dean, continue heading, bearing 250 for five miles.
his batters after me, boys. My fuel burns down, I just get faster. GTIA confirmed, perhaps lost his bandits. Uh, bandits still in the cab. Uh, about a mile trail. Thank you. Oh, Tally. Make his last run in, then I'm Winchester and out of here. Coming out on I 16. Kingston's on a spit. Confirm I 16 hostile. I'm just staying hostile. Ah, hit the hard. Okay, Cap's pretty much Winchester from RTB, done enough damage. Cap, break left, break left, check I-16, 6 o'clock. Got it. RTB Vector. Just right, Kingston, request Vector home. Kingston, Vector home, bearing 029 for 42. Cap, Vector home, bearing 028 for 47. All heard. Good job guys, we've got about 10 units killed there. Magic coming out, bogey on the nose, declare. Friendly. Coming out, targets at your 7 o'clock at 34,000. Hi. Confirm 34,000? <laughs> Sorry, 3400. They get your last attack, boys, because the bombers are RTB. It's one attack and then out. Being mixed in the stiff hat. Coming up, bogey 
Pacific at 6 o'clock high, 5,000 feet. Roger, oh, medic, vector coming out of uh, home plate. See the fight. Coming out, vector to home plate, 034 for 47. Roger, coming out, gonna work my way that way, drag him. Got friendly. What's up? Uh, Bean is still engaged. Bean engagement is good fight. Yes, it is. Being my, being a curse three o'clock low. Why would you want to drive a whack? Uh, that would be cap. Ornettmobile when you've got babies like this to drive. Sierra's coming in to reinforce. Still twenty mile drop. Me and your last man in the AO. Yeah, in case defensive. I'm coming back to help out. Being like a 916 chasing me. I'm nearly out of my first tank. How do I change tanks? Um, change tanks. I'm just like over there. Don't you just have the one? Going up on the this bit is going high. I gotta keep my energy up. Being, I can't stick. Yeah, I'm not of energy. I'm in five tanks. What else are you guys at in relation to the target? Struggling quite badly and peaking at 300 clicks per hour. You're pretty big though. Okay, Cap, it's a miracle you're flying. I'm not sure that actually uh, sinks between the aircraft. Oh, I can see no one other than me ever doing any of the clubs. Radiator is open fully now. Cooling down. Good to check, anyways. Current out's kind of shot up. 
Cap, I don't know if we'll be able to do a nice landing with you. Just take up behind you. I don't know if Cap's leaking fuel. Um, that would fit now. Shut up, man. Yeah. Just coming at 200 or maybe a little bit slower than that, or a little bit slower than that. Stand by. Come now, visual forming up. That's all right. Landing. Cap Sally Runway approaching from the south for emergency straight in. Oh, we've got like 5% fuel left. <laughs> Runway's clear, Bob. Other guys in the air, I need you to confirm my gear and uh, flaps are going to come down, please. Cap. My flaps down. Can you see my cap? Can you see my flap? Okay, all good. You can check flaps as well, so you should be able to get Hold on. Amazing time, I've just lost my engine completely. That was very lucky, guys. Did you switch your fuel selector cap? Jesus, that was lucky. I'm full throttle and nothing. Did you ever switch your fuel selector to rear? Negative. Oh, okay. Oh! Fucking hell! Little buff out. Yeah, I'm good. Covered out left base, emergency landing. Covered out final. Good care of us. Copy.
Good show, boys. Shut down and report to debrief. debrief. So, we might as well do red team first because I saw what we were doing. Uh, 109s. Took off, had a good ferry flight. Um, made note of the smoke. Went in, bomb didn't go off on my first pass, so I turned around and eventually got it off. Dropped it right on someone's head. I'm pretty sure I killed something. Um, then saw you getting chased by a P-51, so I chased after him. Had a good tussle with him for ages, and then manoeuvre killed him. And then tried to take on a Spitfire. Got scared, ran out of ammo, and ran away. Landed yeah. back at base. Perfect, we're on Kingston. Um, 109s, anyone else? Uh, it's just a lot of fun, Cap. Roger, that's what we like. Uh, 190. It was really good fun. They always are. 190s, uh, I suppose I'll do them. Uh, who did we lose? 190, we've lost two? Yeah, I um, stalled and being chased and stalled. Roger, another guy? I tried to defend someone else from a Spitfire and ended up being pilot sniped by shaking from the back. Oh, the Focke Wolf King gets sniped. Ooh, Unlucky. Okay, I had. Uh, oh, nice, nice. I had a good Great. time. I killed about 10 ground units on my own, which I'm pretty chuffed with. It's probably the best I've ever done. And I had a, basically a 20-minute war with a Spitfire, a war of attrition, which he just couldn't win because he hadn't read his flight manual. And um, did really well. RTB'd. I forgot to switch my tanks. Actually, I didn't dare switch my tanks. And so I thought I'd just go for it. And I stalled literally about, as you'll see, about 100 feet short of the runway. God, I can't believe it because my engine cut out. Um, oops. Silly cap. Uh, otherwise, really good. Anyone else on red side? Could I just bring up a couple of uh, technical details of the door we might keep in mind in the future? Might want to keep in mind. So first of all, Cap, uh, you don't actually need someone to check your gear and flap for you because you do have indicators for both of those things on the wings. I saw that gear, but not, well, not the flap with indicators. Uh, there's a little round hole in the wing that shows ah. you a number. Oh. Um, so that's mechanical things. As long as your tires aren't popped, you should be fine if you see the sticks out, for example. Roger. And what about the the tanks? Because the thing is, I didn't know what tanks I had selected. That's the, so I didn't dare change it because I didn't even know what I was selected on. Okay, so, um, it's all in German. A little bit. Um, a likely little bit. he was on both tanks. So. So why didn't it? You, why did I stall then? You probably ran out of fuel entirely, Cap. <laughs> Yeah, the, the the tank switch thing on the right side, as far as I'm aware, is just for the for the fuel gauge. Yeah, it's just for quantity. So if you yep. if you had that lever on the left all the way up, mm. and you lost an engine, you just completely ran it. Damn it! The switch on the, the right. documentation that switch is for switching the feed on the yeah, tanks. Yeah, that's what it says. So it's you're either forward right. or you're rear. But I don't know. I didn't know what I was in. It doesn't say hinter and forward. It just says which. I you would read. go. Just opposite what you were because mm -hmm. one or the other. The only thing is, one of them is closed. There's a fuel cutoff. I was like, am I going to hit closed by accident? Anyway, it's done now. No, the fuel cutoff is the big red thing on the left side. Um, yeah. That is that is it. That is what we're talking about. It's also got two other options. No, there's there's oh, a switch on right the right side. side. No, that yeah, the, the switch is the fuel gauge. Yeah, yeah that's it's just for the fuel gauge. It, so once you're in the all the way up position, it's feeding from forward and aft tanks. The right yeah, switch is just to view the quantity. So he just ran out of fuel. Right. Yeah, I agree. There you go. Um, I don't think documentation. It's different. That doesn't say that. It's about feet. Right. Anyway, let's carry on because we'll be arguing all night. Yeah. Another thing that I did notice: um, you can't mix and match rockets and bombs on the on the fuck oh, wall. Fuck, uh, you just man. end up. You just end up not being able to fire the rockets. You could just can't drop the bombs then. And one thing that some people may have forgotten, I almost forgot about that. Um, if you have a hot start Dora, the MW50 switch is actually not on, so you have to do it. Yeah, manually. I've taught the boys that. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Um, right. I mean, I really use this. The first time I've got to use a Dora for its for what it should be, that constant leg stretched MW50 and all the time outrunning Spitfires. It worked really, really well. I was chuffed about that. Um, okay, guys, let's hand it over to the Blues. Uh, we took off, uh, Hammer took off, we flew over to the target, uh, saw you guys coming in and dove in on um, I killed Stahl. Hold on. And um, got uh, chased out, I guess, by one guy who was smoking on 109. Got some rounds in me and stuff, and next thing you know, my engine cut out. And I think what it was, I didn't switch my damn fuel gauge. <laughs> yeah, typical problem, isn't it? Yeah, well, first, you know, I was only flown the thing for about an hour and a half, Cap, so it wasn't bad. Watch I don't know what the rest yeah. of my guys same got flight. up to. Hello, same flight. Got a, see, we rolled in on you guys. 
I got in a tussle. I think I was chasing Cap, and somebody got on me, and I was just fighting with these two guys for like it seemed like an eternity. Mm-hmm. And I was looking back at one while trying to follow the other one and hit a tree. But it was Roger. a good fight. <laughs> no. That might have yeah, been me. To... Hello. <laughs> yeah, I think that was you. And I oh, think I was too. Yeah. Thanks, Our hammer oh, lead. Uh, we were all so shy too, guys. Cap. Yeah, but we need more uh, P51Ds. We only had six. Yeah. More bullets, yeah, please. People in slots. For- Roger, understood. Couldn't fly here. Yeah. I just mm-hmm. I just owned in the I-16 as usual, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give a shout out to yeah, Roadkill for giving here. up his slot. <laughs> Roger, there's P51, there's TF51s there, guys, just in case. I know they're not great, but you can still they're take useless. part. You can take part at least. All right, guys. Um, any finals? Good fun. We'll just keep doing missions similar to that, I think, more or less. Uh, I think they work really well. P51s are kind of useless in a PvP fight, isn't it? Any uh, Anything else, finally, guys? Right. Oh, they got the radio sorted. Really good fun. Well done. Same thing, but in IL2 Thursday should be interesting. And I'll see you later, guys. Later, guys. Later, guys.